Hey guys, Megan here with Beautiful by Megan Horse in my mom bath. And um, we have been in quarantine, so she has quarantine hair and her roots are way longer than we usually let them get. And I thought I would take this time to make a little video and give you guys some tips on applying your hair color at home. So let's go. So tip number one is to use some sort of pointy comb if you have one. Um, if you don't, you can use a regular comb, but you wanna keep your sections really clean. So what I'm doing is I've sectioned her hair to where she parts her hair. Um, if you don't have a uh, specific part that you use every day, then you can just go ahead and section your hair down the center. But since she parts her hair on the left, we're gonna do that. And then I'm gonna section her hair behind her ears and on each side, just to keep four quadrants. So um, that's the first thing you're gonna wanna do. Obviously I'm gonna section here, but her hair is short, so I'm gonna do it as we color. Um, so you, you wanna keep your sections really clean um, because that's gonna help you get the best application without getting the hair color all over and only applying it at the roots. Um, the next thing you wanna do is apply the hair color um, what I would say to do is make sure the color is only at the tip of the brush. So dip your brush in, just getting a little bit on the tip of it. And like I said, try to keep your brush as clean as possible. And then start out applying it around the hairline where usually the hair is most gray. So I'm just gonna try to keep it close to the hairline as possible without making a huge mess and getting it all over the skin. You can see I'm trying to get all those little hairs but not make a huge mess because then you're gonna have a stain around your skin. And um, it's best to keep it as clean as possible. So we have it on the perimeter. I'm gonna do the same exact thing on the other side. So the next thing I'm gonna do after I get the hair color around the face is I'm gonna go ahead and get it right on that part. Keeping my brush clean and tapping at the root. And pulling it out for however long your hair has grown. So about an inch in her case. sections you can take and the thicker and more coarse your hair is obviously the smaller sections you're going to want to take because it's going to be more dense and hard for that color to really get in there so her hair is more fine so I'm going to take some bigger sections because this is what is going to be easiest for you guys um, at home so, but you can see how um, if you take a little bit of a lighter section like a quarter of an inch it really does saturate the roots better
you're gonna wanna do this all over. Obviously, that's the most tricky part. If you do have somebody at home that can help you, of course, that's going to be your best bet. Um, but if you don't, you can um, do your best to reach in the back and just take the hair across on the crown at the top and pull it forward and just kind of reach back. And even if you can't get everything on the underneath part um, done, People won't see it because the hair will fall down across and uh, unless you wear your hair half up, obviously, but just do your best to kind of feel it out. Um, and then you can go from there. So you're gonna be pulling your hair up in sections.